I'm going to be reading on the Hoya Bachu um, Forest in Romania as a haunted or peculiar location where energy um, is notably uh, and highly reputably odd creepy, but I just want to see, as we can, the energies that um, are present that we may not be able to see with the, the naked eye and the basic senses, but that others have seen with some sensitivity form. And whatnot. So let's just take a look. I'm going to use the Star Tarot. So if you're wanting to know what deck I'm using, it is going to be, it is the Star Tarot. And you can get it um, just about any any place. It's not difficult. Uh, you can use Amazon, but try to try to give love to the smaller shops if you can. Okay. So I'm just trying to focus on that energy, the Hoya Bachu forest in Romania. They kind of call it like a Bermuda Triangle. It is unusual, even just um, as you will see in these, the pictures that I'm including. You know, it has a, a certain area where there is no, there's a circle like where there's no trees that are growing, none. Uh, and it's, it's, it stands out because it's a bit peculiar, because it's, it is a pretty intense, has a pretty intense woodland, um, has interesting tree shapes and things beautiful uh, but eerie so I want to see what the universe my spiritual mentors and the Creator will share with us about the energies and I'm sure there's layers of them um, in the Hoya Bachu forest. And what do we need to know about that area? Um, just what should we know? What does spirit, and by spirit I mean the creator, the highest, most high, want to share with us about Hoya Bachu and its energy. What do we need to know? Alrighty, I think I'm, <clears throat> I'm ready to go. First card we get is the Six of Swords and the first word that came to my head was portal. And portal to other realms. Okay? So I feel that it's and maybe not just one. I think it is actually dotted with portals. Some of them stronger or more powerful in, in their pull or, or presence than others. Uh, but I feel like it's scattered. I feel like they're dotted like flowers. Various portals. And this is an idea that's a new concept to me that, that, that some of these portals aren't as strong yet. Other ones have been there longer and have a really kind of like trade route established um, activity. 
but there are energies from other realms that come and go there and it's a variety of um, spiritual form I'm picking up a lot intuitively and it's um, in my mind's eye I'm being shown things and um, these are non-human um, beings people need to to get over the fact that, that they think that they're at the top of the species and we're not. Um, this is a, a, a being that and other beings that are not human. Some are elemental. A lot I think are elemental. But others are just different forms of beings then humanity realizes that exist and to try to label them is elusive so yes this is energy also I'm getting it got the words from my mentors of healing there are parts of it that can be utilized for healing for its energy but it would have to be with like somebody that uh, understands the energy of the place and is um, really grown up with it a healer a traditional person uh, and sensitive uh, among their people. I'll have to find out what they refer uh, to um, a traditional like folk healer. But it's a seer. It's someone who can guide and help. And I just get that that forest is just dotted again with very active portals. Okay. Wow. One card. And I was just. Whoop. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't. Okay. Now, I've been meaning to read on the Hoyabachu forest for a while, and for one reason or another, it got put off. Um, but it kept at me. Maybe this is why. I'm kind of stunned again off that one card. All right. Knight of Cups crossing. So here is it's a luring energy. I think it can draw certain people to it. But this is also people have ro a lot of romanticized notions about it and they go there and they find it more challenging than they expected even though they know of the reputation of the the, the energy there um, and this is energy that is challenging it's crossing because <clears throat> this place and to me it is energy that would lure or approach you and some of that luring or approaching may not be um, let's just put it this way with the Knight of Cups it's not always lovey-dovey <laughs> you know it's not always peace love and light it's sometimes seduction or uh, uh, just a real pull of senses that on a very emotive level. Let's see what the rest of the cards are going to say. But there is energy that definitely moves, moves, moves. I'm getting movement. And I know that they say that they see um, 
energy, like orbs, and not just orbs, but actual light, like balls of light and stuff. And that doesn't surprise me. And I'm getting that with this Knight of Cups that is spiritual energies and forms uh, of, that are actively doing things. coming forward. Okay, I'm going to ask my ancestors because we, my, um, from what I understand with my DNA that it, uh, I would have Romanian ancestry too. Um, mostly Latvian, but, but I've got them, they're, they're in my circle. And I firmly believe that. So I'm going to ask my ancestors to help me more. And I already feel like they're here, and I feel like some of them may be Romanian. That's just something that came to me. Um, all right, anyhow, like way, way, way back. Ten of Cups. So this is truly a sacred place. All right, Ten of Cups. And this makes me, and like I said, it is sacred. It has a very sacred function, okay? And so people shouldn't go there toying around without respect and trying to provoke what's there for, the, for their entertainment. It's really rude. Um, and I'm getting that f from them, okay? And them is the energies that that place is made for. And it's really meant more for spiritual traffic than human. And that's why it is the way it is. And that's why it's not been really terribly encroached upon um, for a good reason. Sacred spaces should be kept that way. And, you know, North American, quote unquote, American, uh, you know, indigenous people have been trying to tell us about, yeah, hey, qu quit doing that to, to, you know, when are you guys going to think about us? Um, but this is a fine example. Again, this is a, truly it's indicating me to me here, sacred uh, point on the earth. This is very spiritual with the cups. There's a flow, um, an established flow with that ten that has long been there. There could be water. I don't know if there's any water features there. Those would be particularly like a stream or something. Um, I know it's a woodland, but I feel like the, any water from that area would be a particularly strong, um, probably point energetically within that parameter of, of that, that forest. And I think that's a strong possibility because it's a sacred place. It's using the card of water. And I'm getting, even though it's swords, there's also something about, like I said, about movement. Again, the portals I felt and it, it can be a nod toward water again. So I feel like there is a sacred feature there, whether people know of it or not. They did a long time ago, and I feel like it was for healing, healing purposes. And I feel like it would have been drinkable, like sp spring water, is what I kept getting. Spring. It is a yes. Crowned by the High Priestess, is again, 
a sacred space and a place where, yes, the, the veil is thin, where there are various portals, some, again, more uh, ancient than others and more trafficked, if you will, than others by various uh, beings. And with the high priestess holding sway there, I feel like it is a conduit. It is a an area that is a series of conduits for different realities, for different energies to move uh, from one to another. Those that can do that, human beings, capable perhaps without side force help of the divine, of other spirit. That's how we do it. But non-human species would be different. And I am getting, it's not just human species again, but all a matter and a number of things that we, like I was saying, sources and, and beings that exist that we don't realize that do. Okay. There is, it's a very sacred point on the planet. And we do get a very strong goddess energy. With it being crowned by the between worlds major arcana card of the high priestess. It is an in-between place. It can it can shift, it can morph, I, I feel like you can lose sense of time. Um, it would, it could, it could really, with the human being, screw with their senses and their, that whole um, geomagnetic thing. Five of Swords. This would feel like a very um, hostile energy, one that will defeat you, and that it is futile to try to um, think you're going to tame. And especially people that go there with that intent, I get, with the Five of Swords, once they get there, that Knight of Cups, which is, I think, an, a certain energy that is a protector of that area, I think lets them know that they are not going to be telling people, or not telling people, but but commanding anyone or anything to perform magic tricks, I'm getting, uh, for their entertainment, just so that they can believe that they exist. They're not, they're going to allow them to harass, Is that's how they feel. And that's why there's the bully card and people going there and wanting, like, prove to me you're real. Oh, please. They're saying, we're real. We're real AF. <laughs> and there is something here in the near future where somebody approaching with that taunting attitude, that attitude like they're going to come in there with some kind of swagger. Um, that place is going to let it know. And it's, it's a goddess-type form of energy. Who's boss? And that this, this bully-type 
going to command and, and demand anything of this area to prove anything to you. With, if you you know you're gonna you're if you do not go there with respect, let me just put it this way: I wouldn't mess. I would not mess because I, it's very protected. I think you have to approach with the most positive, like the Knight of Cups in its positive form, and not in its pushy, ugly form of offering uh, being a, a somebody that's going to provoke um, and, and try to bring provocation to the, the um, environment, you know, prove to me that you're real kind of crap. Um, my understanding intuitively, because I'm getting a lot intuitively, and with the cards is that if you approach with the, the real heart and with respect, I think it will reveal itself very clearly to those that, that seek and go there with respect. But I think that it's warning if you going to come here with this thinking that you're going to bring your your energy of provocation here that's going to be very shut down and i'm getting that the um draining the cameras all you know it's if you start that stuff and i think it's very protected it, it feels very protected because it's it is talking about a bully energy and it's talking about coming there with the right energy like people used to in the long a day ago, um, I'm getting with that Ten of Cups. People used to go there for the right reasons, and they weren't coming there to provoke and say, <laughs> you know, entertain me. Um, they were there for healing, certain purposes, that kind of stuff. But they respected the area. The Knight of Wands, again, this is going to be an energy that is going to let a person know, a human being know, that if you're there and you're not with, with, with respect, you're going to be pushed out of there. It's going to try to get you out of there. It's going to try to get you out of there anyway, but if you're particularly pushy, with the belligerent attitude going there, like, and it's belligerent to expect them to perform like a, a, a pet, but you give treats. It's very arrogant. And here is the environment, the lovers. Uh, this is, shows the forest. It's in fact in the card. It's the, depicted the Garden of Eden. Um, it is a holy place. Um, Choose how you approach it. If you approach it with greed or with a bad attitude of, of ego, that's really wrong. That's disgraceful. But if you approach it with openness and wonder and respect, I think it's willing to show you some things that you may not have ever seen before. But it's letting me know here, it's all about what is in the heart of the individual that comes. What is in the heart? Are you coming to disturb and bring us poison? Are you coming to this sacred area for healing? That's different. But it's all in the attitude. They're really letting, you know, it's the choice and respect. Prince of Wands. This to me is again that it is a truly energetically uh, 
wondrous place and variety I'm getting variety of beings and uh, I think there are some ancient uh, ancient Romanians there but I believe there's probably a burial area where the, I, I'm getting more about it, that it, there's sacred people buried there and, and they wouldn't just have put anyone there these they were to become guardians of the area okay ooh channeling yeah and look at that they are their guardians the energy there is very protected they're not kidding around they're very territorial and there's various kinds of, of energy some of it dark some of it can be a little bit more benevolent but again uh, you're, you don't go to that place with an idea of something to enter with a juvenile demand of entertain me um, you approach with respect and you would I think would kind of do a cleansing for you go there it's a sacred space so if you go there and you haven't done that you bring it oh, it's really rude because the energy there is a certain way. It's, you know, guided by a variety of different spirits. And some, the human spirits that I do sense there are ancient. I do not sense any modern people and they want to keep it that way yeah the moon again now if we go the moon uh, the high priestess the moon and that nine of wands look at that portal 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 protected there are various kinds of protectors different energies, different species of, of beings, um, but it's a holy place. And I do not believe human beings will ever be able to live on it because it's not meant for human habitation. the tower and the ace of wands yeah that is energy that will really overwhelm you um, and for some people it really messes with their reality because it shows them some things that they don't understand it messes with their sense of reality um, because it is again a very inner what did I say when I before a very energized energetic sacred space a portals and all kinds of energy there coming and going not just energy the movement of, of this energy and the fluctuation of, of that kind of quote unquote traffic, the, the energy of these beings then in, of its of themselves. Um, so yeah. And the four of wands. It's the public. And look, Queen of Pentacles. Very goddess energy. And again I feel like it's meant for the public and meant but it's meant not meant for people to be like living in there it's not it's meant to be for healing 
and it has a sacred purpose and needs to be respected. And I think the locals, for the most part, do. They understand that's a natural force and various natural forces that are beyond what we know about at work there. Not a joke. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please make sure you're subscribed, share with people that you think will find it interesting, and um, make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, I think we said that. Oh yeah, and please hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next live or the next video. Thank you so much.